Welcome back to H20. In this section, we want to talk about cause and effect and causality. And we do this with an example which talks about the good guys and the bad guys. There's always good guys and bad guys in the universe. In this example, those two groups, they were fighting a war. And after some very long and grueling time, they were able to sign a peace treaty. So this happens in this story at year number zero. So in year zero, a peace treaty is signed and the good guys, they go back to their families, they go back home to their planet with a spacecraft which is able to go with a velocity of 0.6 times the speed of light. The bad guys, they're still bad guys. And so they develop a faster than the speed of light spacecraft to follow the good guys. And they succeed with the development of the spacecraft after four years. So they do, they follow the good guys. And in year number five, the bad guys attack and destroy the good guys. So the challenge for you now is to explain the story and answer the following question. When and where does the attack happen from the good guys perspective? And when did the bad guys invent the spacecraft from the good guys perspective? And you will see uh, some surprising results in this analysis. So please stop the video and try to work this out. I recommend drawing a space time diagram uh, in order to get to a good picture of what is actually happening here. So if we do this, you find the space time diagram here for the bad guys. So again, there's a number of important events. In year number zero, the, uh, the, the peace treaty is, is signed. And then the good guys, they start traveling away with 0.6 times the speed of light. So what you see here is a word line of the good guys. In year number four, in the reference frame of the bad guys, they develop their spacecraft and they keep following the good guys. And here in year number five, the attack actually happens. So if we analyze this for the good guys, we find that the X position, the position of the attack is in their spacecraft. So let's figure out whether or not this is correct. We find gamma times XB minus V times TB. If you put in the numbers, you find, whew, luckily, the X position is equal to zero. At what time did this event happen? Um, here, for the good guys, you find gamma times TB minus V over CXB. And again, if you put the numbers in, the attack for the good guys happens in year number four. But then the question is, when did the bad guys invent the spacecraft in the reference frame of the good guys? And if you put in the numbers, you find the invention actually happens in year number five. So the attack happens before the spacecraft is invented in the reference frame of the good guys. And this clearly violates causality. You cannot use a device which is not event invented yet, unless you travel faster than the speed of light, you travel in time. All right, I find this a really funny and geeky example. And the reason why this doesn't work out, why it's geeky is that they travel faster than the speed of light. So um, let me conclude this, this part of the section here with a concept question. Um, we have an event A and ask ourselves, can event A cause other events? So event A might be the invention of a spacecraft. Can event A cause event C, event D, or more than one event like B and C or B and D? So note that the time axis here has units years and the, the X axis has units um, light years. Again, you know, stop your video here. Think about the answer. Maybe you draw in the, in the space time diagram in order to find the answer. And the answer, the correct answer is C, only when C can be caused, because only C lies within what we call the light cone of event A. In order to impact, in order to cause an effect on any other event, the message needs to be traveling with speed smaller than the speed of light. So that means that in order for, to reach event C, 
we can you know, design a spacecraft or we can send a light beam to this event uh, or to this in this direction and then just wait a little bit um, in order to make any sort of impact on event C. We cannot travel faster than the speed of light which would be necessary in order to reach event D. Um, and we can also not go backwards in time with messages in order to reach event D. 